Welcome to Selenium Master Selenium Python WebDriver video tutorial. In this video tutorial, I will teach you how to create a HTML test report in your Selenium Python WebDriver test automation script. When doing test automation, test result should be reported by using various techniques. Test result can be written to a console or written to an external file. This example is about creating HTML test result. Now let's see the example. In this HTML file, we have a table and this table contains test result from each test case. The table header is test ID, test case, action, expected result, actual result, pass fail, test note. For past tests, we mark the test background as green in the report. So in this report, two cases passed. So the background color is green. And one case failed, so the background color is yellow. When using HTML format for your test result, it is very easy to use various color in the test report. So creating HTML test result is very efficient. Now let's look at the script to find out how we can create a HTML test report in Python script. I created a Python script and named it as test result utility. Under test result utility, I defined a class report and this is object. Then I defined a class level variable report string and initial value is none. Now I initialize the object or report class by using this method def int self so self dot report string is empty. When the class is initialized, the report string is empty. Now we write a report header. In HTML format, the file starts with HTML tag and a header title and then a body. So in the header, we using string concatenation. So self dot report string plus equal to because this was the empty string. So this equal to empty string plus HTML tag header tag title for the title. I named test result report and this is for title. And this is the end tag or markup for header. And we start with the HTML file body. In the test result, we have a table. So we define a table in this line. Self dot report string plus equals table and for the table border, we give it number two. Please remember that we use escape backslash to escape the quotation mark here. Now we define a row. Under table, we define a row. TR represents table row. Then in this table row, we add first column test ID. 
and second column test case and third column action next one is expected result and this line is actual result so for test result we add pass or fail and here is test note then we close the table row markup so this method is used for creating a report header so this contains a table and first row so now we create a method append to test and this method will be used multiple times or this method is used for each test case so in this method i included several arguments or parameters so include test id test case name action expected result actual result pass fail test node so we have all these parameters in this method now in order to add color to the row for pass or fail I use the if statement so pass fail dot lowercase so we convert the pass fail to lowercase and this equals to pass then self dot report string equals a row the style background color is green the color code 33CC33 represents green color. And else, or if the test fail, then self.report string plus equals to this line, and the color is yellow. Now, next line is we add test ID. Add test case name, add action, add expected result, add actual result, pass fail, and test note. And we close the table row markup. Now we define a third method it's called write report footer so we need to close the table and HTML file body and the HTML tag so this line will be used for closing the HTML file format now we need to write the report to a file so final string equals self dot report string so when all strings are defined the final string equals to self dot report string now for demo purpose i added print final string it will print the final string on the console so in the actual test you can remove this line now i define a file object using report file equals open file name the file attribute is for writing or mode is for writing w is for writing now report file dot write final string we write the final string to a file and we close this file so in this script i created a report object i initialize the object and created a method for write report header 
append to report and write footer and write to file. Now let's look at how you can use this script. So first let's check the module. So from run, run module. So there is no error. Now let's create a test result file. So first we need to import the class. So from test result utility, we import report. Now we define a report object. So report equals report. Now we can do is report first we need to write report header then we need to add report to the case so first let's add a login so report append to report this is case ID, case name, action, actual result, or expected result, actual result, and pass fail. This is test notice empty. Or we can add um, test one. So enter. So first line is added. Now we add a second line for a second test case. So second case, and this is for change user settings, change settings, and action is user should be able to change settings. Expected result is settings changed, and this is actual result, settings changed true, and test result pass for the node. Let's add test two. Now we add the second one. Now let's add a third one. So for a third one, this is the test case ID. This is the name, action, user should be able to log out. After logging out, the expected result is login link should display. And now the actual result, login button not displayed. So this test failed. In the test result, we add test three now we can add one more let's say so we add a report that append append to report so this will display all the parameters so test id zero zero four then um, let's say browser test then browser should be closed this is the action and expected result is browser closed now the actual result is browser did not close so this one is because browser did not close the test result is fail and this one is test 4 So now hit enter. Now we have added four cases. Now we need to add the footer. So write report footer. We write the report footer. Now let's um, write the 
result to a file. So let's use the test result HTML. Use the same file. So copy. Now we can use report dot. So write to a file. Now in the file name, we give test result dot HTML. Okay. Now we hit enter. So this is the um, result displayed on console and no failure. So now let's minimize the screen and refresh this file. So as you see, in the beginning of the demo, we had three lines. Now we had four. So we added four test cases. Two cases passed and two cases failed. So by using a simple script like this, you can create HTML test report in your Python WebDriver test automation script. And you can reuse the test result utility in your unit test framework. In our next video tutorial, I will use this file in actual testing. If you have any questions regarding this video tutorial or this script, you can visit the site www.seleniummaster.com or you can send email to services at seleniummaster.com. Thanks for watching.